Welcome back to Fork and Good. It's almost Thanksgiving, and I've got a craving for mac and cheese. No, not this stuff. Closer, but still not it. Now, here's what we were looking for. Stuff mom makes for the holiday. Now, mom hasn't let anyone take a photo of her since about 1986, but today she's willing to guest host to teach us how to make some awesome macaroni and cheese. So, Mom, what do we need to do first? We're gonna boil water. Half a pot. Salted boiling water. Probably takes a good tablespoon of salt. Probably a good tablespoon because you want your noodles to get seasoned. Then we're gonna take 16 ounce one pound box of macaroni, elbow macaroni noodles. You can use any noodles, doesn't matter who makes it, doesn't matter what shape they are. Then we just boil that. I'm going to put a dash of olive oil in this water. And that's probably good. I just want it to keep the noodles from sticking together. And they're starting to do that right now. Then it comes out, we drain the, drain the noodles. Then we have our pan that we're gonna put the noodles into. Spray it really good, or you can use oil, or you can use butter, but you wanna put something on it because it will stick, even if it's just not a non-stick, it will stick. You put your noodles in there. We wanna put a tablespoon or so of olive oil just enough so that it'll keep them all nice and, oops, <laughs> he wanted to get away. So. Macaroni overboard. Yeah. You're not eating me. <laughs> it says, so I don't like cheese. I'm gonna take four eggs and put it in a big bowl. <gasps> and add two yolks. I love it when I get eggs that have two yolks. Then we're going to take heavy whipping, whipping cream. We're going to use maybe a little over half. For about a pint. Yes, of whipping cream in with our eggs. And we're going to blend that all up together. And with that, half a teaspoon of salt, a little sprinkle of pepper, a little sprinkle of onion powder, a little sprinkle of garlic powder. We put that in the bowl and mix it up. Before we add the eggs and the seasonings, we are going to sprinkle a teaspoon of cornstarch and just sprinkle across the top and kind of mix it in. I'm just stirring this in like this just to... Just because my mama did. That's all. Makes it a little... Guarantees your thickness when you get all this stuff. Okay. Then we have a stick of butter. I am definitely going to melt this in the microwave. Your, your cornstarch is here. We've sprinkled that over and then we're going to pour this on top of that. And then we're going to add all of our egg mixture and milk and, and stuff. Then we go to the cheese. 16 ounces of mild cheddar cheese, uh, finely shredded. It doesn't matter if it's shredded or not, or you can shred it yourself. I just like the easy way. Little squares of cheese. Colby, Colby and Monterey Jack. Doesn't matter what kind of cheese. You can use anything you like or your family likes. You heard right, two pounds of cheese is going in. So we, once we put the cheese and we just mix it up in the pan, no mess up anything else, just put it in the pan, mix it up right there. As long as it's all in the pan, as long as it's swimming together, we're good. And then we're gonna put milk. We want it to cover the noodles. So wh wherever your noodles come in the pan, we want it to come right up to the top of the noodles. We turn the oven to 350 degrees. 
and you cover it. Cover it with a tin foil and put your pan in the oven and let it cook straight for 45 minutes. Let's see what we got. Then after 45 minutes, you take it out of the oven, take your tin foil off, take a look at it if it's bubbling and looking nice and good. You leave the foil off, you put it back in for another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. When the top is nice and golden brown and everything's bubbly and brown and it just looks so delicious, you know that it's done. Take it out, let it sit on the counter, let it sit there for at least 15 minutes. If you can wait 20, that's better, but usually I can't. So after 15 minutes, possibly 20, cut into it. And cut into it, we did. Look at that cheesy, gooey goodness. There are two pounds of cheese in this tray of deliciousness, and I can guarantee it'll make a forking good addition to any Thanksgiving table. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving, and be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss when Mom shares her holiday dressing recipe. It might even be better than the mac and cheese, if that's possible.